Thanks for tuning in to the Elevation Recovery Podcast, your hub for addiction recovery strategies, hosted by Chris Scott and Matt Finch. Hey, my friend, Matt Finch here. In this episode, you'll discover the major link between GABA deficit disorder and alcohol use disorder. It's a vicious relationship where each disorder can cause and affect the other. For example, someone with a GABA bankruptcy in their brain might have intense cravings for red wine every evening after work and then become alcohol addicted after a few months of habitual drinking. Or someone with alcohol dependence develops a GABA bankruptcy from repeated consumption of alcohol. In contrast, their natural GABA levels were optimal before addiction. After learning about this notorious accord between two devastating disorders and how to boost GABA naturally, you'll be well on your way to restoring your mind-body health and elevating your GABA to optimal levels. Gamma-aminobutyric acid, or GABA, is an inhibitory neurotransmitter that humans create naturally. GABA acts as a mental relaxant and lowers the activity of neurons in the brain and central nervous system, CNS. GABA is kind of like a brakes for the brain. It is known for its overall calming effects on the body and for regulating the sleep-wake cycle. If we experience feelings of anxiety or hyperactivity, it could indicate an imbalance in GABA levels. When a person has optimal levels of GABA, they get the following effects. Relaxation, calmness, sound sleep, alleviation of pain, balanced mood, regulation of excitability. GABA is the brain body's main inhibitory neurotransmitter. It helps your brain and body system calm down and relax by preventing excitatory neurotransmitters like dopamine and noradrenaline from overstimulating the brain. GABA also helps slow the heart rate and breathing and relax muscles. In those who are deficient in GABA, feelings of anxiety, stress, and worry can be common symptoms, leading to alcohol cravings. Alcohol targets GABA receptors and mimics the effect of this neurotransmitter, helping to relax your mind-body deeply. Here are some common symptoms of having low GABA. Anxiety, sleep disruptions, poor sleep, difficulty staying asleep, depression, chronic stress, sad feelings, mood swings, and muscle pain. Have you ever strongly desired, craved, or even obsessed with alcohol after a stressful day and use an alcoholic beverage to calm down your mind, body, and nerves? This is your body telling you that your GABA tank is running on fumes. While alcohol facilitates this, unfortunately, the negative side effects of chronic alcohol use far outweigh the temporary feelings of calm and relaxation. Alcohol can cross the blood-brain barrier super quickly. This is why, after drinking alcohol, its effects can be felt almost instantly. The brain has a highly intelligent way of preventing the overstimulation of neurotransmitters and maintaining balance. For example, when alcohol intake is high, to avoid an excessive accumulation of GABA, as well as other neurotransmitters, receptor response is dampened, diminished decreased and reduced. This means that over time, you'll need more of the substance to provide the same effect, which may lead to potential addiction and alcohol dependency. While some of the fastest ways to become deficient in GABA are regular consumption of alcohol or benzodiazepines like Valium or Xanax, many other variables can disrupt GABA levels or associated hormones and neurotransmitters. Note that in addition to the list below being factors contributing to GABA deficiencies, these factors are also the primary risk factors or root causes of alcoholism and other drug problems. Here are the primary factors that lead to low GABA. Alcohol and or benzodiazepine consumption. Over time, alcohol and or benzodiazepine intake can cause downregulation of GABA receptors, resulting in low GABA levels. Poor nutrition. Soil depleted in nutrients, maldigestion, malabsorption, poor food choices. The nutrients and cofactors in foods necessary to make GABA can affect GABA levels. Therefore, a poor diet can potentially cause low GABA levels. Some people can eat a healthy diet, but due to maldigestion or malabsorption, they may still have low GABA, stress, acute and chronic. Over time, stress can cause elevated epinephrine, norepinephrine, and dopamine levels. As GABA rises to inhibit the effect of these catecholamines, it can become depleted. Genetic predisposition. Genetic factors and vulnerabilities could make achieving and maintaining optimal GABA levels for mood and behavior difficult. 
Now let's discuss nine proven ways to optimize your GABA levels. Here's where you'll discover a host of proven and effective strategies and therapies for elevating GABA in your brain and body, thereby calming your mind and body and creating a biochemical and physiological environment that is not conducive to experiencing alcohol cravings or even the desire for alcohol. You'll learn about herbs, amino acids, minerals, foods, exercises, and other resources for supercharging your endogenous GABA production, neuropharmacy, and facility. 1. Foods and Drinks Consume a GABA-building diet. Many people intentionally consume foods and beverages that contain GABA or boost GABA production in the body. When I used to be prone to anxiety, I often did this regularly and also drank green, oolong, and black tea, which all contain GABA. In addition to adding more foods high in GABA, avoiding processed foods and artificial ingredients, and focusing on consuming a mostly whole food organic diet can help quite a bit. 2. L-theanine. This is a non-dietary amino acid found primarily in plant and fungal species. L-theanine increases mood-enhancing chemicals in the brain, such as GABA, serotonin, and dopamine. L-theanine has been studied for its potential ability to reduce mental and physical stress, improve cognition, synergistically boost mood and cognitive performance with caffeine, and reduce drug withdrawal symptoms. L-theanine significantly increases alpha wave production in the brain. Alpha brain waves are most present in a wakeful state characterized by a relaxed and effortless alertness. Alpha states are sublime, flying, floating, lightness, peace, and tranquility. Alpha waves are present when your brain is in an idling default state, typically when you daydream or consciously practice mindfulness or meditation. 3. Chamomile Almost everyone has heard of chamomile. It's probably the most well-known and widely used herb in the U.S., where millions of people have used it for its many health-promoting benefits. I'll focus on chamomile's main mechanism of action, its ability to bind to GABA receptors in the brain and increase natural GABA levels. Apigenin is the chemical component responsible for chamomile's anti-anxiety and anti-insomnia benefits. Apigenin calms down the mind and body by binding to GABA receptors, thereby increasing GABA levels in the brain, like the woman drinking chamomile tea in the picture. 4. Passion Flower a beautiful flowering plant that has been used for around 14 conditions, but for this episode, I will concentrate solely on how it can help with GABA and alcoholism recovery. Passion flower is helpful for insomnia, gastrointestinal upset, nervousness and excitability, high blood pressure, and pain relief. Passion flower increases brain levels of GABA, so it's mentally and physically relaxing, sedating, and uplifting. Passion flower also contains MAO inhibitors, harmaline and harmine, and several MAO inhibitor flavonoids, including apigenin and others. MAOs are enzymes that break down neurotransmitters and stop their messaging activity. Passion flower's MAO inhibitors boost the following mood boosting chemicals in the brain serotonin, norepinephrine, epinephrine, and dopamine. Number 5. Lemon Balm. Lemon balm is one of my favorite herbs on the planet. It has many health benefits, one of which is the increasing of GABA by inhibiting GABA transaminase, an enzyme that breaks down GABA. Various studies have shown lemon balm to be effective at treating stress. If you have difficulty falling asleep, you will find an ally in lemon balm. Studies show it encourages restful sleep. Lemon balm can also help soothe digestive issues by preventing gastric ulcers, common with alcoholism. It also treats melancholy and has a wonderful way of uplifting one's mood when feeling down. 6. Kava Kava is a plant native to the Western Pacific, where it's widely consumed throughout Pacific Ocean cultures of Polynesia for its sedative and pain-killing properties. Kava has the rare ability to induce relaxation while simultaneously improving mental clarity and cognitive function. Cultures throughout the Pacific greatly respect kava and hold it in the highest regard. Traditionally, it's prepared in a kava bowl. These Pacific cultures frequently hold kava ceremonies, often accompanying important political, religious, and social functions. Kava is similar to alcohol, and many individuals have consumed kava for anxiety, depression, and insomnia. 
the active ingredients in kava are known as cavalactones. These cavalactones induce effects similar to alcohol, such as relaxation, talkativeness, and euphoria. However, unlike alcohol, kava induces these effects while still maintaining mental clarity in the user. That is awesome. The cavalactones in kava contain the following properties. Anxiolytic, analgesic, muscle relaxing, and anticonvulsant. Kava potentiates GABA receptor activity, thereby increasing GABA, or natural Valium, levels in the brain, promoting mental relaxation and restful sleep. Kava also inhibits the reuptake of dopamine and norepinephrine, which increase pleasure, euphoria, and concentration. Finally, kava is a CB1 receptor agonist, leading to very mild effects similar to those of THC, an active ingredient in marijuana. Since kava has these diverse methods of action in the brain and body, using kava for alcohol withdrawal might relieve a variety of symptoms, including anxiety, fatigue, sore muscles and aching limbs, depression, restlessness, and insomnia. Despite all of the amazing benefits of kava, there is still a lingering myth that kava can cause liver toxicity. Chris Killam, an ethnobotanist on the medical advisory board of the Dr. Oz Show, who has conducted medicinal research in over 40 countries, states this, quote, To this day, despite absolutely no evidence of liver toxicity among kava drinkers, and despite liver safety demonstrated in medical studies, kava still carries the taint of concerns over liver toxicity. End quote. Number 7. Valerian Valerian is a perennial flowering plant historically used as a sedative, antiseptic, anticonvulsant, migraine treatment, and pain reliever. Most of the research has been directed at the interaction of valerian constituents with the GABA neurotransmitter receptor system. In the brain, valerian is thought to bind to GABA receptors. By blocking some nerve impulses from reaching the brain, valerian seems to shorten the amount of time it takes to fall asleep, as well as improve the quality of sleep that results. Valerian is often effective at reducing stress and tension and muscle tension. This herb has quite a lot of contraindications, and always ask your doctor before trying any new herbs or supplements. 8. Other Supplements In addition to the nutritional and herbal strategies and L-theanine, other supplements can also help to support GABA production. Magnesium stimulates the activity of cerebral GABAergic systems by behaving as a modulator of GABA receptors, increasing their activity. Vitamin B6 is a cofactor for glutamic acid decarboxylase and GABA transaminase, the enzymes required for the synthesis and metabolism of GABA in the brain. And taurine binds to and activates GABA receptors and modulates and inhibits stress hormones from overproduction. And last but not least, nine, natural therapies. Exercise, especially high intensity interval training, Qigong, Tai Chi, yoga, meditation, gratitude, and nature immersion can all increase your GABA. Now that you've learned about the GABA deficiency alcoholism connection and how to do strategic GABA repair using the best natural modalities, you can take what you like and leave the rest. And with that being said, thank you so much, my friend, as always, for listening. Take good care of yourself, and I'll see you on the next episode. If you're watching this on YouTube, please give this video a thumbs up. If you learned anything new, subscribe if you have not already, and I'll see you next time.